Panda on the top eight stage at EVO. It might be fun, but we're going to the opening stage here. Infinite Azure 2. Geese versus Feng Wei, Korea versus Korea. Some jabs early start up, and me very poke heavy, right? Very movement based. So you're gonna see right now, look at him, he's fishing with those low parries. And I'm gonna say this straight up, I don't think we've seen a character, especially with the improvements that Feng Wei has, that fits Nii's aggressive playstyle as much as Feng Wei does. And no, let me tell you, like I said, against all of the top players, Nii has looked ridiculous, right? Like, like a robot, a machine, whatever you want to call him. But this right now, the way this is starting, Moyo is kind of playing the same game back at him. You know, it's mainly movement, a lot of little pokes, and it's adding up. And look at the life he's got. No one else has been able to do this against Nii so far at this tournament. Oh, yeah, he's chipping away. Again, Moyo, a lot of people say he is the best geese hands down around the world. He got some tricks that a lot of geese players don't use. So we'll see. Oh, oh my god, my the one god. plus two, the follow up. Is he dead? Is he dead? The rage is coming. No. Decides to save it. He's got the time advantage. Oh my god, he's stuck moving around you know, randomly, but everything is calculated with this guy. This is the best version I've needed seen in a long time. Oh, yeah. And again, maybe it's that thought that we put out there earlier. He wants this Evo title. He's not yet had a title for Tekken 7 for the big show. Maybe his time. Pat Campbell step doesn't find it. And again, these players are so comfortable just with dashing in front of each other's face. Most people would be panicking, but these guys, again, fearless. Poke, one poke at a time, really. But yeah, Moyo is really stuffing him. He's preventing the movement. He's using the homing attacks when he needs to. The downward one check really stopped him as well. And again, small life lead. See how he handles it. Light life lead for Moyo. The throw break from Knee, but Knee's behind here on life. Ten seconds left to go in this round. Good look at the sidestep in there. Down back three counters, though. Five seconds on the clock. Time's a wasting. He does have the life lead. Knee is starting to pull away. What's happening? What He's are you doing? Oh. And he blocked it down four at the end. He blocked it at the end. He's like, yeah, you need a big chunky hit. It's going to be the down four, and I'm going to block it with like zero seconds on the clock. You're oh, not yeah. stealing it from me. And traditionally, that is the knee play style. He will whittle you down to the very end. But look at that knee with a two round lead here. Moyle's going to have to really find some ways to get in. I don't think he can bet on the end of every single round. He needs to do something here. It feels like he's trying to play Nii's game back, and he's doing a great job of it, better than I've seen most players do. But even still, right, these rounds have been so close down the wire, and Nii's still clutching it out. Let's see what happens. Gets the wall standing one, two. I think we need to see the thief power come up. You know, we need the thief power to start using that meter yes. and just steal some rounds away. Like a thief in the night, stealing it away. Ooh. Gets the hit here, unexpected. He has two meters, you better use it or lose it. Again, time one down, Nii with the big lead. Look at the sidestep. Oh, seconds. he threw. threw, he threw. He's wasting time. He's no running way. the block. No way. Five seconds, you can't do nothing. Do, five, do that 10 more times. Wait, he actually might win. He might win. Oh my He's going to get the round. How did he get hit by that? Because that. he believed he had enough life to just take all the down for us, so he didn't even try to block him. I mean, that is a characteristic from me as well. He does not duck. He does not duck. He does not want to get broken down or get hit by a mid. He thought it was calculated, but it's shadow time. It's not knee time. Not yet. Not yet. Let's see what happens. Again, these guys going back and forth. This is a very Ooh. nice back sway blow from the Kempo step. No throw break on his one plus twos. Oh, he's nervous. He's not ready for it. Let's see what happens. Knee is with a huge lead here, but Moyle, he does have rage. That rage art does so much damage if he can land it. He's about to get some meter. Never, never mind. I love to see it. It's nice to see. Anyways, we're going to go back in. It looks like we are fighting. Oh my gosh, the abandoned temple. Oh boy, all right, all right. Knee needs one more game to get in that top three. Let's see what Moyle's adaptations are gonna be here. Because the poke game and trying to use the same movement against Knee is not working out. Oh yeah. He's gonna have to figure out a way to kind of cut him off at the pass here. He needs to take control of the momentum. The thing is, with momentum in Geese, it's so dependent on whether or not you have the meter and you can explode a certain Good time. Good block. He tried, to, again, these down fours, he got maybe, Knee was playing possum the whole time. Get that confidence. Do your down fours. Let me block them when I need to, and I'm going to destroy you. Yeah, remember that round where you hit me with three of them in a row? Not totally today. Totally works, dude. Yep. Keep doing it. He's putting the bug in his ear. Do it again, Moyle. Do it again. Do it again. Oh, oh snap. Hop kick. Snap. Knee. Another thing that was unusual to me. Knee using hop kick. Yeah. He's not a hop kick person. But he's using them now. Not even just off the sides. Sometimes just in neutral, standing still. That's the thing. I feel like Nii is one of those players, too. His hop kick, if he's going to do a hop kick, it's going to hit. Yes. He's one of those players. Anyways, we're going to go into the action right now. Slight life lead here for Nii. 
Moel's gonna have to turn things up, otherwise it's gonna be too little too late. And me so calm, right? Time winding down every single round. He's like, yeah, but life bar's about even, which means I'm winning. Because when it comes down to the poke at the end, I have the advantage. He's so good with his sidestep left. Yeah. Trying to build these opportunities, not gonna get the punish there. Me right now, looking to close it out, oh but there boy. is rage. Time again, bad winner's final. Here we go. Uh, such a okay. dominant performance so far from Nii. He's optimizing, he's making things happen, he's gonna get the wall. Hey! Oh, why are you moving? Where are you going? Get off me, one with two throw, no ducking that high. Oil's in trouble. All right, the follow-up here, nice punish. Let's see what he does here. There's a huge life lead here for Nii. Oil on life support right now. How is he gonna react? He does have some meter. He's in big trouble, he's in big trouble. Can't find any big opening. Nii's not letting him have nothing. Back tempo step, and that will be enough!